Hey guys, what's up? It's Maddie. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna be making a peach galette and I am very excited. I think I'm also gonna make a strawberry one. I'm so excited and I'm actually going to taste test it for you guys at the end of this because I realized I didn't do that in my last cooking video and I honestly don't know why. We're gonna make the pie dough first and that is going to need to rest in the fridge for at least two hours. So don't worry about preheating your oven yet. If you're eager, go ahead and preheat it to 400 degrees and let's get into the crust. For this dough recipe, you will need all-purpose flour, sugar, salt, butter, vinegar, either white distilled vinegar or apple cider vinegar, either one works, and water. Obviously, the first thing we're going to do is mix out all of our ingredients, so we're going to measure everything. Please measure your flour properly. I don't want to see any of that scooping straight from the flour bag. We're going to cube up our two and a half sticks of butter first, pop it in the freezer and let it chill while we measure our other ingredients. After you cube your butter, measure out all of your dry ingredients. They can all go into the same bowl. You'll need two and a half cups all-purpose flour. One teaspoon of kosher salt. Two teaspoons of sugar. We're going to whisk together our dry ingredients. Once everything is whisked together, go ahead and dump in your cold cubed butter and get to work. At first, it's gonna seem like nothing is happening. It'll take you probably seven to eight minutes to get this dough pretty well combined. You're still gonna have some shaggy bits and some lumps, but you don't want any huge chunks of butter. We'll measure our wet ingredients. One tablespoon of apple cider or white distilled vinegar and one fourth of a cup of cold water. Go ahead and flour your work surface a little bit, whether that's cutting board or a clean countertop, and go ahead and dump out your dough. This is where your water and apple cider vinegar mixture comes in. You're just going to drizzle it through your dough and start working it together. Once you are happy with the way your dough looks, go ahead and cut it in half. You're going to be making two discs of pie dough and then we're going to wrap it in plastic and store it in the fridge for at least two hours. If you don't want to make two galettes today or you don't want to make an entire pie, you can refrigerate the extra dough for up to four days and freeze it for up to one month. So now that our dough is chilling in the fridge, we wait. Two hours later. For your filling, you will need any fruit or berry of choice, whether that's peaches, strawberries, plums, nectarines, blackberries, blueberries, boysenberries, strawberries, apples. I mean, literally any sort of fruit that you want. Today I'm going to be using peaches and strawberries. You will need one lime, and that is for the lime zest and the lime juice. You'll need regular sugar. You'll also need some raw sugar, vanilla extract, salt, cornstarch, and then I'm gonna be adding mint if you wanna add ginger, or lavender, rosemary, or basil. Like, there's literally so many things that you can do. Basically, we're going to measure out all of our ingredients and chop all of our fruit, throw it in a bowl together, toss it up, and there's your filling.
construct your galette. And you're going to roll out your dough. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. <laughs> key step. We're going to transfer it onto our baking sheet that is lined with either parchment paper or a sill pad. That is a silicone baking mat. Once it's full of fruit, it's going to get a little heavy and you don't want to have to pick it up off the counter and put it onto your baking sheet because your dough could tear pretty easily if you've rolled it out too thin. So just assemble it on your baking sheet so that you can pop it straight in the oven, make your life easier. Sprinkle with your raw sugar. Your galette is assembled. It is time to put that baby in the oven. We're about halfway through and this is what they're looking like. I'm about to flip them. We've had a little minor explosion on the strawberry side, but you know, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna let them cool for a little, and then I'm gonna film some beauty shots, and then we're gonna taste them. And I cannot wait. Can you guys see it? This is delicious. Like, it's so good. This crust, like, it's so flaky, it's ridiculous. You actually have to make this because it's insanely easy and it's insanely good. I'm literally about to eat that entire thing. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe down below, follow me on Instagram. I feel like I have to say it in every video, but I am so happy and excited and thankful to be back and just wanna say, that I appreciate your positive and encouraging feedback so much. I can't tell you how happy I am that you guys are making my recipes and enjoying them, and I hope the same goes for this one. So send me your pics, I would love to see them, and I will see you guys next week.